Good morning, folks. Actually, almost good afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd show you what's going on today. Jared is working on a bracket for the iron worker. Uh, we'll go take a look at that right now. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is try to learn more about it and we're gonna, we already have some mods we wanna do to it and then we'll share those or do videos on it. Uh, we've already, I mean, literally already been using it. Um, it's been great so far. The punching is just having a, we already had a punch, but a fixture plate to build jigs to punch stuff in volume is huge. The shear has been great. The angle shear I know was getting used today. And what was I gonna mention? Oh, we have a hex shear. You know, I'm more confident now that I like this, that I'll invest in some more tooling. And the punches and dies are actually really not expensive. Um, this is the extra station, which we're gonna be building a press break attachment for. Really excited to do that. Um, we're, Jared, where the heck did that thing go? Um, we added some rollers to this thing. Still may tweak that some. Um, it's hiding behind there, but we're building an in-feed table for another saw right now, which would be awesome. Here's some targets for the local gun club that we're putting together, stomp activators. Uh, I figured uh, introduce you guys to Noah. Noah's the summer intern, and he is working right now on some blocks for a chemistry department. They're bio holders that are pretty good sized chunk of aluminum. Um, Nothing too complicated, but uh, it's been great. He's rocking and rolling. Um, yeah. Facing that off by hand, and then he's... Uh, I modeled the part, and he did the Fusion 360 cam on his own. I think I tweaked a couple little things on the chamfers, but it was pretty darn good, which is awesome. Um, I will say... Oops, I will say I spend a lot of time doing paperwork these days. I just do. Uh, I'm actually meeting an accountant tonight. I will let you guys know how that goes, but that big question of what, if anything, do we outsource, I'm very curious about. Um, I wanted to also share, um, oh, so we're working, I've got a project that is this thing that we need to make, uh, not this thing, this heat sink, and we could, so these slots are about three quarters of an inch deep. So what is that, like 15 millimeters or so? Let's check and see if I was even remotely close on that. Yeah, uh, 18 and a half. So rather than mill those with an end mill, I think I just modeled up this uh, slitting saw quickly and I was going to make the arbor, but I think we're actually gonna get by with a factory arbor um, I had to buy a bigger blade than I had on hand. So that's going to be super fun. We did some test cuts. Noah actually helped me. And I think that's going to work. So more to come on that. I also wanted to mention... Oh, we just did this shaft. And it's funny. I, I love the Tormach lathe. It's, there's sometimes I get frustrated. And most of that is related to, like I've said, the bigger diameter stuff. But i got to say, it's an awesome machine. We took this piece, 1.625 inch, I believe it's 4140, um, and there were a couple of bearing tolerances on here that were well inside a thou, and I gotta say, we nailed them on the first pass. So I'm feeling so much more just confident in our ability to turn nice parts. We did this without a tail stock, we just flipped it, dialed it back in. Great quality, the threads are great, like it's just, it's, it really feels like, my, something's wrong with my gimbal um, today. The, the lathe is coming together, which is awesome. Um, the Sandvik guy came by yesterday. He had to go next door and he said, hey, um, let me swing by and see if I can help you with that 390 mil. And so we did make a huge improvement, which is we took basically a 70% step over. So kind of going against how we run most of our solid carbide tooling, which is more depth of cut, thinner width of cut. On this tool, you can only go 0.2 inches deep total a little bit more. Um, so the way you run this tool is actually weird to me. It's like 70% deep or even more. Um, my buddy Dale at Widgetworks was talking about running it 100% slotting. So we got a better recipe, but it's just not worth it for us. Um, it's not that much of a better material removal rate than the quarter inch Lakeshore tools that we use. And the inserts, you know, it's $12 per insert. You get two edges, but you got to use two inserts. Um, the problem is machines that don't have enough rigidity, that's really hard on carbide inserts. And 
you guys may not like it, but the truth is we're not perfect. We make mistakes and that tool holder is $250. And you know what? I've broken like two of them different types before, but I'm not confident that I'm right now going to be able to make use of that for a point of time where it comes close to justifying the additional costs. I just, there just isn't, you know, I like the Sandvik guy, I do, but that's like the closest reason why I was trying to make it work. Otherwise, it's like, I don't have a problem here. That tool doesn't really solve anything for me. Um, it's not necked back, so it's not like I could even reach down deep with it in a pocket. So no hard feelings. When we get a bigger machine, I think it sounds like an awesome tool to take a look at again. And, oh, last comment. Uh, someone sent me a good article. It was actually religious, but it was, which is not what the point for me, but um, one of the things it talked about is it reminded me of a, one of the most important lessons in life, which is um, to achieve great things, you've got to do it over time and you've got to have a plan and you've got to do a little bit each day. And I will tell you folks, that is the one reason I'm here and in this building today. I didn't expect it to happen overnight. It was 10 years, a lot of hard work, a lot of successes, a few failures. But you know what we did is we kept our eye on the prize and I, I, I saved money. And I hate to sound, I guess it sounds frustrating or boring, but it's not sexy. You just save a little bit each day, each week, each month. You build up some money and you know we still aren't a huge shop but guess what we love what we do and uh, I like it I want to keep doing it the key is to achieve great things do a little bit each day so with that folks take care see you soon